Hello everyone, this is Jan Chromi and together we will continue the course Interdisciplinary Approaches to Language and its Use. This is the first presentation in a short series on adult vocabulary from psycholinguistic perspective. First, let us think about what does it actually mean to know a word. This may not seem very complicated and we might just say that a person knows a word if he or she knows its form and meaning or meanings and also knows how to use it in an utterance. For example, the person might know uh, the subcategorization frame of the word, its morphological characteristics and pronunciation. However, if we would go deeper, things would start to get much more complicated. For example, is it necessary to know all the world meanings to know the word? And what exactly is the word meaning? What is the appropriate manner of use of the word? What if various people do not agree with each other on the meaning? Questions like this do not have a straightforward answer. In other words, the knowledge of a word is a difficult and multi-layered concept. The traditional approach to the adult vocabulary in psycholinguistics would assume the existence of the so-called mental lexicon. Mental lexicon is considered as a part of the long-term memory where the words and various information about words are stored. In language processing, we retrieve words from the mental lexicon. The lexicon is a set of lexical entries. Each lexical entry contains the information about the syntactic, semantic and phonological properties of a particular word. However, there are alternative views which contest the idea of the mental lexicon. For example, Jeff Ellman argues that mental lexicon as a dictionary which stores information about meaning, phonology and syntactic properties of words does not exist. Rather, he claims that words are stimuli that operate directly on our mental states. Words thus don't have meanings. They provide cues for what we call meaning. This may sound strange because we are used to think about words as having more or less fixed meanings. However, Elman's uh, argumentation is quite intriguing and we will discuss it in a bit of a detail in one of the further presentations. Before we will conclude this introductory presentation, I have one reading tip for you. It is a paper by Daniel Kisacento and Gary Lupian. All concepts are ad hoc concepts. This is another study which argues against the idea of fixed meanings associated with words. Rather, the authors claim that all concepts, categories and word meanings are constructed ad hoc each time we use them. This is an interesting idea which definitely deserves your attention. If you enjoyed the presentations, we would be glad if you would like them on YouTube. That is all from me now. See you next time.